One minute, guys. Just gonna plug in the light. How that is. Yeah, that's a lot better. Uh, it's a little bit bright for my eyes. Okay, is that better? Is anybody out there? Not crazy about the wind. So I would like to say a prayer for our nation because right now we are really everybody's in um, just turmoil. So my prayers for Israel with um, Egypt and then my prayers for Ukraine with Russia and for the United States of America. Um, we are all human beings. We should be loving one another. Um, when does the violence and and our kids? Uh, you know, it's not right for anybody to hurt each other. And I don't want to get into politics because it separates people big time. But God wants us to love one another as he has loved us. And it's a command. We're supposed to love each other. So I have a couple Bible verses. First of all, I want to open up with a prayer. Because without God, I wouldn't be able to sing. He wouldn't have brought this dream back and I would be nothing. God is the creator of everything, heavens and earth. It's in Genesis in the Bible. And um, I pray to God, if you don't have a relationship with him, I hope that you turn, at least consider when you're ready. Um, I wasn't always ready, but I hope um, this message finds you well. All right, so let me open with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in your son, Jesus Christ, name asking lord that you please bless this message that i'm about to send lord please bless my songs that i'm about to sing and i know i'm not worthy but my praise i hope is worthy my prayer is that peace will surpass the earth and all the trembling and fighting will cease i pray that the captives be set free in your name jesus i pray that if anybody's going through anything if they're in fear lord you put your hand on them and let them know that it's okay, Lord. It is very tough times right now, Lord. And I'm praying that all peace all across the world for everybody to be brothers and sisters. We are supposed to be united, Lord. We all bleed inside. And I pray for all the children across the world that they grow up safe and see that we love each other. Lord, you, I know you want us to turn towards you. That's all you're asking, Lord. I'm trying to do my best to get your message out. With the Holy Spirit, we will take this. And I pray for anybody who's listening, you be touched by the Holy Spirit. And peace surpasses everything. I pray that any strongholds on your life be taken captive and broke down. We already know that the battle's already been won. We're just declaring it, Lord. We're declaring and we're standing on your promises. You sent your son to the cross for us so that all our sins are forgiven and we won't we won't go to hell, Lord. We'll be going to heaven. We just accept your son. It's a free gift. It's a free gift, Lord. Amen. God Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Hey Christina. I wanted to um this wasn't really planned. I was thinking about this today, you know, with all our country and turmoil and everything. Uh, I don't know if it's Maine where they have that shooting. I want to watch what I say on here, but everything you can turn on the news, the whole world's on fire, Lord. And um, 
So I wanted to sing, you know, I love singing. So that's what I wanted to do is sing some songs dedicated to God to plead for peace across the world. And hopefully a people across the world hear this. YouTube's really good. So thank you for tuning in. And all right, so I want to, I open with a prayer and I had a couple verses. All right, so peace. John chapter 14, 27. I'm going to say, I'm going to say like one Bible verse and then I'm going to say um, gratitude. All right, so John. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. 1427. Oh, I feel so sorry for the people across the world. I just hope that the war stops and they can come to an agreement. It's just terrible. Um I have really bad vision. All right. All right. So this is what it says in John 14, chapter 14, verse 27. This is really Jesus leaves his peace. So it says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Amen. So we have the peace of Jesus. And if you haven't um, accepted Jesus, I hope this will find you when you're ready god's reaching out his hand for you he's chasing after you so if you feel like something's missing in your life if we don't have god it's the holy spirit calling you he wants you home because we all belong to god god created all of us we're just maybe on a wrong path and i've been on a wrong path sometimes i get off of the path but i'm really trying to keep my eyes focused on god because it's the only thing he always chased me i can't outrun god you can't outrun God no matter where you go. He's there. He's in the dark. He's while I'm driving my car. He's there. God is alive. He's there. We have the Holy Spirit. And then I wanted to say, um, okay, so first John chapter four, verse four. First John. There's two Johns. Oh yeah, there is. Oh my God, I'm so bad. Sorry guys, there is four Johns in the book. All right, first John, there's only a couple, there's only five chapters. Four verse four, chapter four verse four. So it says, you dear children are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. He's talking about the devil, and I hate to talk about the devil, but it's if you look at all, all what's going on, that's not God. God doesn't want us hurting each other. God doesn't want us destroying each other. We're supposed to love one another and reach out our hand and help the other person up. Even on YouTube, we're supposed to do that. We're supposed to build each other up because we're all in this together. We're not no experts by anything. And, God sees us. He sees your heart. So he will get to you. We he we have the spirit of God in us. When you accept Jesus, he sends the Holy Spirit into you. And it's greater than anything in this world. Yes, you may feel fear, but I pray to God. Um, and you can be assured who is in you is greater than he that's in the world. Okay, so I'm going to say gratitude. Because I don't really know what to say when I pray, you know, we don't know. I just, we pour out our heart, right? So this song is really beautiful. It's by Brandon Lake. So, all right, with that being said, welcome in, guys. I cannot see because I don't have my glasses on, but I want to welcome you in. All right, so I'm going to sing Brandon Lake's Gratitude in three, two, one. Oh, my words fall short. I got nothing new. I could sing these songs. Oh, how could I express all my gratitude? 
I could sing these songs as I often do. But every song must stay and you never do. So I throw my hands and praise you again and again. Cause all that I have I've got one response, I've got just one move, with my arms stretched wide, I will worship you, so I throw my hands and praise you again and again, Lord Jesus, cause all that I have is a Except for a heart singing hallelujah, hallelujah. So come on my soul, don't you get shy on me, lift up your soul, cause you got a lion inside. Don't you get shy on me, lift up your soul. Cause you got a light inside of those lungs. Get up and praise the Lord. Oh, call my soul. Don't you get shy on me, lift up your soul. Cause you got a light inside. does that belting I was thinking said there hey Roy I um he does that belting but he's got obviously he's a man he's got that uh, 
I was thinking taking like one of those things that cheerleaders has. Obviously, the microphone's really, I can't do it in here, but going underneath the bridge. And then I probably could get that same thing. But his, I'm trying to get this lion out of here. <laughs> it's like, unlock the voice. I'm getting there, getting my voice stronger. Oh, I love singing, guys. And I'm so thankful I started last year. Christina, you seen me. And I'm just glad I didn't listen to it. Some people were telling me, a lot of people were very supportive. And then some people were just laughing at me because they thought I was joking around. And um, it's like, no, I'm really serious. I love singing. Hey, what do we have to lose, right? And my Jeff Roca, he tells, like, if I ask him a question, he responds. He'll give me the information, like the interface that I needed to really it just plugs in the computer so the sound is uh pretty decent i don't know if it's too loud it, if you guys could tell me if the microphone is too loud for you guys i mean i can hear it um through my headphones good but just let me know if it's too loud for you i um i just um i pray for the nations I'm just going to grab a glass of water real quick, okay? It's okay. Thank you. All right, give me one second. I'm just going to grab some water. I should have had. I was trying to eat. That's why I didn't get on at 6 o'clock because I just, the time was running too quick. All right, so give me one minute, okay? Sorry. Sorry, guys. I should stand outside. I'm sorry, guys. Alrighty. All right. So I'm good. That sound, I'm glad that sounds good. Thank you. And I have candles burning. I do have a fire extinguisher, but I think I'm okay. I mean, I, just, I put them safely on my piano. I just wanted to have some candles. I was trying to do for the nations. Um, well, kind of like the menorah. I was kind of doing that. I'm not Jewish, but you know, I do follow Jesus and, um, I mean, I've, I've studied with all different religions, but I'm a uh, born-again Christian. Not like it matters. I mean, it does matter, but we're all united. You know, I want to be united, have diversity, togetherness, unity. That's what my pastor talking about, unity. And they come united. Um, and YouTube's so good for this because we get to meet a lot of people. I'm in a new journey in my life because... Um, I don't know, uh, Christy and I know your daughter's a little bit older. She's so pretty. But um, my daughter's in college. My other son is 18. And my other son is 9. And his father helps me. Excuse me. So I'm kind of like in between the journeys. But as soon as that, my whole life changed last year because it was like my kids had grown up. It's a totally different. Like it just happened very quick. It took a long time, but at the same time, it just happened like really quick. It was a change. And thank God for giving purpose because I started to get a little bit of very, actually very lonely. And I think YouTube is great for anybody that's not working anymore because you don't get to really communicate with people. So we connect with so many people, you know, we're all over the place, which is great. Share the message. All right, so I, um, I wish I didn't have to always look at all the lyrics, but um, like sometimes I mess up the song. All right, so I wanted to, okay, so Matthew eleven twenty nine. this is the yoke, yoke of Jesus. Matthew eleven twenty nine. 
Mati mati kerja. Mati. Mana Tony Nai? All right, so this is when he was talking to John, John the Baptist. All right, so I'm going to start in chap, uh, verse 28. So this is 11, 28 through 29. And Jesus is talking to uh, John the Baptist, or I guess he was talking to a bunch of people. Um, the Father revealed and the Son. Okay. So it says, chapter, uh, verse 28, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. 29, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. You will find rest for your souls. For my yoke, and this is 30, For my yoke is easy and my burden is light, because the world, thank God for that. There's so many verses in the Bible. I could open a page and it just gives me peace when I land on one scripture you know um the world is so heavy sometimes and if you focus like i used to focus on all my troubles and all my cares and i would try to figure everything out but when we take the yoke upon of jesus it like peace i i can't explain it. like yes i lost my father but i know he's in heaven i have that assurance i have peace this thing brings me peace i am worried for the country's in turmoil this i'm not going to turn a blind eye to it but the only thing that i can do is pray for them we can pray right i can't i can't go over there but if there's anything i could do to help them i will help but um i just want to i'm praying to god that we have united united you know we all could be so good we could all build up all the countries together if we all work together we want to go bridges. All right, so this is um, Katie Nichols. I'm going to say Katie Nichols. I speak G um, in name, in Jesus' name, God, if possible. So this is she's praying for people hurting. She's praying for people that's um, going through health issues. She had, I think she had something serious with her back. She had surgery on her back because she was in so much pain and um through all that she came up with singing but she was she's had a battle i mean i gotta really study these singers but i mean that's it's katie nicole you spell it k-a-t-y-n-i-c-h-o-l-e um she just i'm sure she's been singing for a long time but i did she was on the not the cmas I think the double words or something and she was singing this song there just so beautiful so last year i seen her on there and um we have k love here if you guys ever heard of that i listen to well 99.1 star 99 and you can get the app and it's all christian like modern christian music they have some old school but it's more um you know more upbeat and stuff you can download that for free and it's all positive encouraging. They say positive encouraging, Kate Love. And that's one thing I found when I go, I'm not trying to get too much off uh, topic, but when I go to different states, you can always find some Christian radio playing, um, you know, like today's music. And, um, you know, so it's good for the, it's good for all generations. It's positive. I'm trying to get this, there we go. All right, so when I sing this song, and um, I want to sing this over everybody, including myself. Um, I want to pray for everybody across the world. I feel so bad for the children and the families just torn by war. All right, so in Jesus' name, uh, God of Possible by Katie Nicole Cover. Jersey loves that. In three, two, one. I speak the name of Jesus over you. In your hurt and in your sorrow, I will ask my God to move. I speak the name because it's all that I can do. In desperation, I see Kevin and pray this for you. I pray for your healing. Circumstances will change. I pray that the fear inside will flee in Jesus' name. I pray that a breakthrough would happen today. I pray miracles over your life in Jesus' name. 
is a snake. I speak the name of all authority. Declare and bless since every promise he is faithful to keep. I speak the name. Oh, I speak the name no grave could ever hold. He is greater. He is stronger. He's the God of possible. I pray for your healing. The circumstances will change. song she they all have these high voices going towards a beautiful singer i'm still working so i'm sorry guys if i messed up a little bit on this song i'm trying i wish i had the backing track it's a lot better because it kind of keeps you on um you know like track with the beat and stuff like that hi guys so i want to welcome you in so, all right, so I'm going to, let's see, I don't want to mess this up. There we go. I don't know what I did. All right, about Love Wings by Carrie Underwood. Um, let's see. Is there a second Corinthians? This is a lot of people that are not able to see the gospel or they or they don't want to see it in this. Um, this is in second Corinthians chapter four, verse four. It's easy to remember where it is. That's why I think I remember where it is. All right, so it's talking about the devil. It says, um, present weakness and resurrection life. The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. And um, it's like when people are stuck in addictions or maybe they, somebody um, was talking down about the Bible, that it's not truth, but it's a complete lie. It's a complete lie. And a lot of people are not even able, some countries, I'm pretty sure I don't know exactly where, um, they're not even allowed to have a Bible. Um, and the gospel, the truth. And um, it's really a shame. We, um, we have Bibles here, but not everybody's fortunate enough to get the gospel. So if we can spread the word, it's good. 
because we might be the only we might be the only person that somebody hears the gospel from and i try to be very careful with my words i'm still learning a lot about the bible guys are feeling a lot but i have a long way to go and even to the day i go i'm still not the bible has so much information nobody's in it i don't well i want to be careful with my words people go to school for a long time to really understand the bible back and forth i use my life and then i'll use the bible app uh you version to look up scriptures when i was making my videos you know you can always learn learning is important i wanted to do that so we might be the only light for somebody else to see you know we don't know and um John 8, 12. Let me see. I wrote down a couple scriptures out because I was, you know, coming up with a thing. Chapter 8, verse 12. John chapter 8, verse 12. Okay. To speak over Jesus' testimony. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Isn't that awesome? We'll have the light of life. Amen. You know, because you'll have wisdom and understanding. You'll understand this world. The Bible, there, it, there's everything. Proverbs gives you lessons for your life. This has this is good it was the same yesterday was same 2000 years ago was the same now and it's going to be the same in the future they had translated it it is a translation this is the new international version but they have many people look at it and make sure that they're not tearing up the scriptures these people are very educated and if they never did this we would have never been able to i I don't speak Hebrewic. I guess that was the original Bible was written in Hebrewic, right? Because um, that's how Jewish people write. They, I guess, like, um, I don't know what you call it. Yeah, Hebrewic. And I don't understand, you know, the how, how they do it. They do the letters, but it looks almost like sin. It's very pretty. But I don't know how. We're not taught that here, so I would never be able to understand the Bible, the Holy Bible. Thank God for that, right? Somebody was against it, too, of translating the Bible. But can you imagine how many people wouldn't be able to get the knowledge of the Bible? Thank God we have the Bible. All right, so this song, I was thinking of all the stuff that's going on and... Um, I never lost a child to violence or um, this song is like about brothers and sisters, you know, maybe we're across the world or maybe we're different from each other, but we are all supposed to be brothers and sisters. Obviously, if you're husband and wife, you know, that's you're not brother and sister, but like brothers in Christ, brothers and sisters, we're all supposed to be like sisters and brothers, you know, um, not obviously not your significant other. But um, this is Carrie Underwood, um, Love Wins. Let me just turn this up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to sing um, Love Wins. And, um, you know, people have lost their children. Like, I want to help the Philly Dream Center. I have a couple organizations, and I'm still working on it. But in Kensington, right here, there, there's the Philly Dream Center. And um, it's phillydreamcenter.org. And... David and Trey have uh, created like a program for youth because it's such an underserved, it's a very dark place over there. It's a lot of uh, drugs and a lot of violence and the kids are underprivileged over there. They don't have access to like, you know, sports. Um, it's not really safe to walk out past a certain time. Um, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful. It is the fact though. Not everybody can walk out their house past a certain time because it's dangerous. And they created a youth center for the kids. Um, he changed his whole life around to serve God because God had delivered him from facing a lot of time going to jail because he was he was on a wrong path. 
but he turned his whole life around because God had delivered him from going to prison for a very long time. So he said, I'll serve you, God. And that's what he did. It's called the Dream Center. And it's right outside of Kensington. And if I can help them with my t-shirts, I want to. And I want to help Christina because she does the blessing box. And I want to help um, Light of God in Darkness because she's in Africa. And then I want to help my church because, I mean, we just do so much. I mean, my church has been a huge impact for me. Um, all right, so this is Love Wins. So, one, three, two, one. Stray bullet and a mama cries. Her baby won't be coming home tonight. Siren streaming down the avenue. Just another story on the evening news. Whoa, whoa. Politics and prejudice. How the hell it ever come to this? When everybody's got to pick a side. Don't matter if you're wrong or right. No, no. And so it goes, but I hold on to hope and I won't let go because I. Sometimes it takes a lot of faith to keep believing there will come a day when the tears and the sadness, the pain and the hate, the struggle, this madness will all fade away. I, I, I believe you and me are sisters and brothers and I. song is uh my voice is a little <laughs> i did not practice that song oh, yay. i don't know why i do this to myself but i'm tr why do we do some of this stuff I i'm trying to dedicate it to you know i want peace across the world and that song is so good love wins by carrie underwood but i i guess it's a little bit out of my range that's okay I'll get there. I, she says her voice is a bit higher than mine. A lot higher. And she's been singing for years and years and years. All right. I have just some. Um, Oh, I know I, um, I know I gotta do that. If I had, if I had the 
the um if i had the music in the background it would be a lot better you know because i would it would keep me on rhythm but i'm just uh, the only thing i hear i hear myself singing but that song is definitely i know i don't like holding lyrics like that christina I just have like this awesome feeling not you know I have this awesome feeling sorry Christina This is I Speak Jesus by Charity Gale. And um, I just need a, I need like a two minute break, like a break, because I got to just give myself a rest on my voice. Let me read a Bible verse. Mm I read all the ones that I put in first John four four now. I already read that. Excuse me. Oh, here we go. All right, I'm going to sing. I just want to, um, I Speak Jesus by Charity Gale. I wish I could put it up here. <laughs> oh, goodness sakes. I don't know if I should sing because my voice is really bothering me a little bit. All right, well. You know what? All right, I'm going to sing I Speak Jesus by Charity Gale Cover in three, two, one. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Cause I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Till every dark addiction starts to break. Declaring there is hope and there is freedom. I speak Jesus, your name is power, your name is healing, your name is life. Break every stronghold, shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. I just want Jesus from the mountain, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus. Shout Jesus from the mountain, Jesus in the streets. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus, for my family, I speak 
Mama Stephanie's voice is <laughs> then I oh thank you for watching guys amen shook me in and I hope you enjoyed this um my prayers for the nations that peace will go over it and I pray for the United States and I pray for you and your family to keep you safe <sighs> Lord can we get united I pray peace over the world amen <laughs>